Researchers at the University of Warwick and the University of Leeds have been researching the origins of ice nucleation on cholesterol crystals. Using a combination of experiments and simulations, they examined the microscopic detail of ice formation on cholesterol, a prototypical organic molecule found in many animal cells and used in cryopreservation also. The formation of ice in biological matter is the cornerstone of cryopreservation. With current techniques, the formation of ice crystals can damage biological cells when frozen. Thus, understanding the molecular level details of ice formation on organic crystals, such as cholesterol, may pave the way toward greater advances for the long-term freezing of ova and embryos or preserving organs. The experiment involved separated plates of cholesterol dissolved in alcohol. The alcohol evaporated, leaving just the plate of cholesterol. Then, an electronic pipette was used to drop one microliter droplets of water onto separated cholesterol plates. It was necessary to use a small volume of water to ensure that nucleation was occurring purely due to the cholesterol. Ice nucleation is affected by impurities in the freezing liquid. The team also used millikey water to be sure that no impurities affect the structure of the ice as it forms. The cholesterol plates with the water droplets are placed in a cryocooler. Molecular dynamics simulations revealed that, once inside, the cholesterol acts as a catalyst, promoting the formation of unconventional ice templating structures, specifically hydrogen bonded cages, comprising six and five membered rings. Cholesterol promotes the formation of ice across a wide range of temperatures, from minus four degrees to minus 20 degrees centigrade. To complement the experimental results, the team also used forward flux sampling simulations. These unraveled the molecular mechanism by which water turns into ice when in contact with cholesterol crystals. To read the article in full, visit Chemical Science Journal. Chemical Science is the flagship journal of the Royal Society of Chemistry. Check out our full portfolio.